Hello, hello, hello. It is another edition of Hip Hop Dance Stories with your host, my gorgeous little sis Afro. How you doing, sis? I am good. What's up, good peoples out there? What is going on? We had a lot happening this week. What? Indeed, indeed, indeed. Your truly legendary, aka, aka, Cutty Shoulders, and V Love is at the Fox Hill Mall today getting a new outfit. Oh, snap. And you know how that is out there, boy. You can get you some dope ass gear, too. You know, you're coming out kind of. That's know. right. That's right. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout out to my man. I'm going to go with the red today. This is Earl Stevens Red by my man E40. You know, he was there for me when I made my transition to an author. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. He put a little ad out, man. He let me get my Billy D on. Get out of my, here. My, my, yeah, my tagline wasn't as great as Don't Let the Smooth Taste Fool You. Mm -hmm. I did my best. What's up, Reggie Bell, son of Dida? So I'm going to go with E40 Red today. Hey, 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 Reg. I'm not going with the Tiger Bone. So, yeah, yeah, man. E40 is a real one, man. You know, he gave me a shot to see what he would do. Yes. Yeah, you could Google it though. Google like uh, uh, Earl Stevens Mango Scotto. Okay. See my, see my little ad. It was cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, I uh, still have I, I, I had this hat on too. Uh oh. I really had to, uh, get my Billy D on. Yeah, you rocking that hat too. You rocking it. I'm rocking it. Cool. Yeah. My bad, y'all. Yes, you are rocking it. Yep. So, toast to a great week, Afro. We had another great week. Yes, we did. New president. We did. We did. I see everybody happy. <laughs> when they made me vote Proposition 22 to keep uh, all the independent workers independent, mm -hmm. that passed. So I'm proud mm -hmm. about that. Yes. Yes. You know, that was actually something that actually I was motivated by that really more than anything. So I love being an independent contractor, Afro. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Uh, I'm gonna uh, send Ela J his link. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So yeah, man, tell me something good. I'll listen. Man, I mean, shoot, what else could I say? First lady in the house. We gotta at least we gotta yeah. talk about that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. First lady in the house. Okay. okay. Kamala, she's doing her thing. I'm very happy. It was a lot that was going on around there, but we have hit history, though. Were you able to see uh, Dave Chappelle on SNL? I oh missed my it. God. Was it was off and on, but what I did get to see was typical Dave, and it was very funny. So, um, I, got my log. I got to step out the room and go see it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he went in, man. Like, he ain't playing no games. No, he's not. I love his little uh, messages, his little hidden messages. So, but I plan on going back tonight. So I guess I didn't watch it because I kept. I was in and out. I was tired last night. So. You know what, Afro? What's up? Let's not even play with it right now. Let's not play. The man is in the house. Say word. Come on now. Come let's, on now. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Because, like, man, let, let, let's set it up right. Okay. Bet. When I first saw, you know, I ain't going to tell all the story. I'm going to wait till he gets on. But when I first saw this group, uh -huh. like, as great as the lead singer turned out to be, this is the first guy we spotted. You know what I'm saying? In the Little Walter video. You dig? Wow. So, we get to the other stuff later. Mm -hmm. But then fast forward to the documentary we both watched. It was just like same thing. I was drawn to the thumbnail. I was like, oh man, I wonder what my man is up to, right? Right, right. Bam, here we are again. And after the show with Carol, we had to get him on. Right. So without further ado. Without that further ado. We got the groove mover. Hey. We got the bass player. Player, player. 
my man, Eli J, E.B. Baker. Hey. What's up? Y'all make me feel like somebody. That's but you are somebody, Jack. Eli J up is in the spot. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Hello. Thanks for having me. Man, it's an honor to have you, brother. Like I said, I was saying earlier before we get into your story, the first time, you know, I picked up, because this is the early in the game, Afro. This is when we get everything. This is when you buy every rap record, every R&B record. You get the Word Up magazine. You get your ride right on. You get your jet. You get everything. So heard the song. I'm like, cool. Video vibrations come on. See the video. Bro, I'm not even thinking Raphael Sadiq at all. I'm like, who's this dude dancing? And he's hitting the James, right? Right, right. It was the shoes he had on? It was Doc Martens, right? Yep. It's very difficult to do the James and footwork in Doc Martens. So that's I, what I, got I, us. exactly. That's what got us. He really got our attention. I said, okay, he's a real one. <laughs> that's when we were on his heels and all the time, you know, we would do shows. I had never met them or anything. And I was like, you know, Tony, 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 how's they show? All right, band is tight. Who's that bass player? Elijah. Man, you meet him, you're going to love him. So from that point on, all my battle shit is yeah, And I always wanted to meet this brother. So, brother, it's a pleasure to meet you, Kenny. Hey man, thank you. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to get that type of love, man. You know, I just never knew how many people was checking for me until I filmed the documentary. Wow. I'm telling you, your, your energy was like I said from day one, man. Like I'm telling you, I ain't thought about Raphael Sadiq way to anniversary. Right. I always, like I said, being a dancer, all you wanted is like, you know, I knew you was the pulse of that show. So I was thank like, you. you know, always have my eyes on your energy. Like I said, to be doing like certain dances with a bass in your hand, because like I said, all that just like really just always intrigued me, Cuddy. They put they put that bass on me to slow me down. It didn't work. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Raphael, I Raphael was a bass player at first, and mm -hmm. they had me like the Jerome in a group. But when I didn't have no instrument in my hand, I I was dancing that much harder. Right. It's like oh no, nah, but that player boy, you gotta you gotta put that bass on, man. <laughs> throw that thing down so. But I just learned how to dance with that too. So right, just right. it's God's gift. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, usually my man B is on here. I don't know where he's at right now. So we're gonna start from the beginning, man. What what intrigued you first? You froze. Uh -oh, but that froze. He was asking you what intrigued you first in dancing. Oh, my the father, back. Elijah Baker oh, Sr. Father? was a great dancer. Your father? My father. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't, you know. see, but when I was born, my father was a born-again Christian, a deacon, so I didn't know he could dance. Mm -hmm. But my mother allowed us to dance. All my Everybody in my family could dance. Um, but my father was an excellent dancer, and my mother and, and his sister used to tell me how good of a dancer he was. So I just genetically had it. Right, not even knowing so, and um, yeah, I got it from my dad. Wow, look at that! Look at that! And we all know the type of rhythm we can get in that household, too. So, I already know you, <laughs> yeah. were, on, you were on it. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just um, used to mimic what I see on TV, and I was always liking smooth dancers like um, James Brown, anybody who glide. That was right. more the type of dance that I, I didn't like all that hard dance. I, I like to be yeah. smooth, you know. Right. That's right. why I love the crimp walk because it was a smooth dance, you know. Anything the Brookfield from Oakland, yeah. how we do it is smooth, you know, just little glide, you know. That's I like things smooth. I, I don't like too much jerking. I just like to slide. That's it. Right, right, right. Yeah, because you was doing your thing in that docky when they had um money come on, you just <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me tell you how that came about. Let me tell you uh, how you know. Let me tell you. Let's bring on my boy B Love real quick. My boy B Love, what's up, Cuddy? Hey, hey. welcome in, welcome in. What's up, y'all? I, I just came from doing my bid, so my federal bid, and um, we I came back to start performing with the Tonys, and um, 
the show didn't have no climax. So I'm like, because, you know, everybody got away from the dance when I left. They were just right. sing the songs perform. But mm -hmm. we had routines. So that, I always knew how to do a routine. So I told them um, I like that song. Certain songs make me dance, you know. Right. So at that time, I said, man, I'm not going to do a bass guitar solo. Play this song and just let me do. I ain't practicing. I just put this on. <laughs> so once I did that, man, it gave a, a great reaction from the crowd. So I just kept doing it. Right. Hey, that's a great song, too. I was playing it. Yes, I was playing the clip I made of you in the Jamaican restaurant. And the whole place just started bobbing. They was going to just hit uh, that. And I was like, wow. You can't help it. He's rocking. You yeah. talking about that clip that I was talking about? Yeah, he's rocking that. Well, it, it's easy. You can't go wrong with that song. That song was a smash. It just make you dance anyway. But yeah. put a nice little one, two with it. It just, mm -hmm. you know, stretch, uh, em emphasize a little bit more. Right. So let's take it back to high school. I did my homework and I saw you even got the best dancer in high school, Cuddy. What? Yeah. Uh, it, it, was, it was me and my friend James Pugh. Oh, uh, <laughs> we danced together. And he, he did, I was a smooth one. He danced hard, you know, but together we was a we was killer. So I never entered no uh, dance contest. So everybody knew I could dance and, and we wasn't winning shit. So I was like, he can, he can have it, you know, mm -hmm. but he was an excellent dancer too. Wow, right, right, right. So you were the um the absolute you were the choreographer for Tony Tony Tony, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, because you I mean everything that I got to see over this past week, you know, being that you were coming, I was just zeroing in and it's like, you know, it's just amazing. I mean, as a young girl, I remember when Tony Tony came out, you know, it was a big deal to hear how hip hop was being infused with the music. So to see some of those hip hop dances incorporated made the songs even more, you know, even much more better. You know what I mean? And you you had people out there doing the same thing that y'all were doing. You know what I'm saying? So Well, we we, we had to practice because uh, like you said, the hip hop era came in. We was like the last man, us in mint condition. But mint condition didn't really put no choreography with theirs. But when right. we went on the road, we was with Heavy D and the boys, Guy, Salt and Pepper, wow. NWA, Cool Mo D, Kid and Play. You know, everybody was dancing. So you had to incorporate dancing because you wouldn't you wouldn't fit it and true. So new edition, Bobby Brown. Right. It was just, it was just a dancing era. You had to do it. So that's how I came about it. That was a natural dance. So I I would say that was my input to Tony 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 is to make them something to look at for us choreography because we they were just we were just funksters at first. Right. But right. I, I brought the showmanship to it. Right. He said we we're 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 we we was all about that. <laughs> I'm still all about that. Okay. That's right. That's right. Hey, did the um cause I was reading up uh how everybody was in bands, you know, back in the early days. So like did that um have any influence on your stage show, knowing you had to be tight with, with your band as well? Well, you know, back then while we was in high school. It was a lot of bands, you know, you know the cameos, Confunction, you know, it's just Prince, Revolution, you know, the time, you know, it was just a band era. So, yeah, they was tight. So we had to be tight. So we mimicked that. And that's when dancing wasn't so prevalent. It was your musicianship and your, and your phone, you know, so we had, we had the best of both worlds. You know, Prince used to like to dance. Yeah, Prince, Prince had, but <laughs> Prince, had, Prince had steps that you didn't, you, the, uh, the crowd would do Prince steps, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the that you they, do it. But they did a little bit in uh, Purple Rain. Yeah, we, we, had, we had trendy steps, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much whatever dance was going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just yeah. add a couple flavors to it as well. Yes, right. like Boogie right. Capital. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, man, jump in after I just missed my thought real quick. So you said that you also were working with other groups. Who else did you work with? I produced Too Short. I produced E-40. I produced uh, Club Nouveau. I produced uh, this group called YT Style. I produced this group called Sweet and Low. Um, who else I worked with? <laughs> 
Man, you said some great ones though. Club Nouveau. Snoop Dogg. What? Dog Pound. Uh huh. Yeah. Pretty exciting. That's dope. You that know, is. For the whole 30 years that I've been. Right. Bunny hopping. Right. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Look at how it works though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is awesome. Thank you. Mm. Yes, that is awesome. Crazy. I'm showing uh, E40 love today on the Earl Steven just because you're on the show. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, you might get down. Yeah. 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 My question was, if you were so hip with uh, dancing that was current, what videos were getting you open at that time? To about while we was, while we was doing our thing? Yeah, yeah, early, early days. Well, you know, it was a, it was a situation where we was all clubbing, so at that at that time it was dances out. So you just mimic what dance was out. It wasn't okay. no influence from other entertainers. We all was doing whatever uh, whatever's popping up: uh, the Cabbage Patch, right. Roger Rabbit, uh, Pac Man, whatever the, the, the current dance was. We just, <laughs> we just took the current hip hop dance in the club and just brought it to the stage. Right. So it wasn't no other. Artists that influenced it. It was the club and the trendy dances that was going on. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, uh, we used to choreograph BBD. We did like three songs. Oh yeah. And we, sent, and we sent them on a mission to put some heat on y'all. How did that work out when y'all do shows with them? Was it a competition? Oh, you know, them guys is the best, man. They um, they they top tier. They they always put. They they have no instruments in their hands, so. Um, yeah, that's the difference. They had, they had, a, they had an advantage, but I, I, I would have no problem going against them head up. Head yeah, but we even told them that. We even told them that. <laughs> like, don't worry about the singing. Watch that dude on the bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I love competition. So yeah, I, I would have went with the best of them, so it was no problem. That's right. That's right. That's I right. respect them a great deal because they still dance like that today. They still put all they all. In they dancing the same way they did 40, 30 years ago. So I respect them to the to the max. That's right. That's dope. right. That's dope. Matter yeah. of fact, I hated the ass in high school because all the girls like new addition. I, I said the same dance. thing to my oh, wife when I was man, I couldn't stand new addition, but I hated them. I hated <laughs> I used to say I said that when I was younger. I was like, I was just telling my wife that I was like, when I used to watch New Edition, I was younger and I would walk into my friends, like, you know, we would go to my mom's friends' houses from church and you go in the girls' room and there would be like some write on posters with a whole bunch of New Edition posters. And I was like, who are these guys? <laughs> hey, man, and then I ended up best friends. We ended up best friends with them. Like, you know what I mean? That was. Yeah. That was a crazy part of that right there. That was real dope, though. Yeah, that is dope, man. They, 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 they some legends. That's what they are. Yeah, they're dope. And, uh, and was, yeah, they put themselves in a perfect position. They do no wrong in the girl's eye, right? No wrong. And None. They, and they None. All, the girls had all their favorites, too. Each, every member had their fair share, man. That's right. Y'all <laughs> yeah. came with that famous... Um, it never rains in Southern California. That song right there. Oh, yeah, that, man, that, that, that put us in the game. But um, that's when things start getting a little testy. Because if you go back and look at that video, it was only three guys in that video and not mm. six. Mm -hmm. So that's when some shit starts switching up, and that's when the oh. turmoil start kicking in. You know, start kicking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always something. Yeah, man. We started off a gang of us, and then it, it just ended up three of us. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, divide and conquer. Somebody always. Yeah, it's always somebody. You know, always something doing something going on. Yeah. yeah. So you say it was that moment uh, when they left you in the limo. That was the moment when the, uh, the shift oh, yeah. started. <laughs> that, was, that was that was after the Southern California video. That's when it, you know it was it was us now. And not y'all. They they forgot <laughs> about all the time we rehearsed for free and did pay for equipment and wasn't getting no money. But when the money come and the start come, now we just the backup boys. Nah, we want the mm, backup boys started. No, no. Yeah, and that's we right. The, and we was on the contract. We was recording artists. We were no, we were no hired band. We was recording artists. Artists as well. All six members. 
but they treat it like a three. Yeah. That's wild. Man. They do that. They always do that. It seems like they do stuff like that in the industry to people. They always break up groups like, you know, instead of it being a full fledged like, like it was Prince in the Revolution, then it became just Prince. You know what I mean? Right. Like, there was always Man. something like that going on. Like, like when I watched the New Edition story, Ralph at a young age stood his ground, man. Ralph, yeah, he did. I'm not, I'm not doing it without my boys. They could have did the same thing. They just chose not mm -hmm. to. Yeah. So it's, about, it's about a person's character. That's it. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it's about. Like I said, that's why you stood out, man. Something about your character and your energy is what, like I said, drew you, drew us to you and the group. Thank you, man. Thank you. That's, yep. I, I just appreciate it getting acknowledged finally because I, you know, so so many years you I was stepped over and nobody, you know, of course, people when I do a show, I, I get my accolades and compliments and one oh one. Right, right, right. So I did the documentary and and, and explain to everybody and show them what part everybody played. Now we all getting the acknowledgement we deserve, each individual member. That's right. That's dope. That's dope. I girl, girl had a technical difficulty. She'd be back though. Yeah, I figured that city drop off. She'd yeah, drop yeah, back yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, tell us about Brookfield growing up, man. Well, you know, Brookfield is an area Antron grew up in. Him and Tim, they first cousins. And um, man, these dudes in this neighborhood got the best dancers. They like they they the equivalent of of of, 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 of crip, you know, Crips doing the crib walk. This little community in Oakland, these dudes do that. This, this little dance, man, they just it, it was so smooth. And the, I'm talking about the ladies do it too, the girls, the kids. <laughs> so it just turned a big dance in Oakland. It, it, it broke from that little area to just an Oakland dance. And I've been doing that dance, man, for about 35 years. And I did it in Japan, I did it in London, I'd, and everybody loved it. I ain't learned the dances. I love it. <laughs> Sometimes love you it. don't have to. I don't do no other dances but the Brookfield. That's right. That's right. Did you guys ever run into? Do you ever run into my boys? Um, the Wild Boys. Oh, our boys. Did we? You remember the sexy dancers and the Wild Boys? <laughs> the Wild Boys is my peeps. Those boys. Right. They were, That's what we were asking about you. They were like, man, he's so cool, bro. Y'all gonna love him. Hey, man, the Wild Boys was a problem. It was the Wild Boys, Sexy Dance, and GQ crew. And we was the Yeah. Yeah. They was, a, they was more famous than we were slash musicians, so we didn't put all our all that. We just do our dance. But yeah. Yeah. they was full dance. Those are when, they, when, they, when they step in, the girls are going crazy. I'm talking about they mm -hmm. have they have groupies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they were stars, and we was on our instruments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we go, when we go to star games or Palladium, mm -hmm. it's, it's a dance off. Yeah, we met them with we met them dancing for Tupac. Yeah, when when Tupac used to be with um Panther Party, that group. Yeah, that, that's how we met the um Wild Boys, and then from then on, we was chilling with them, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and it was man. like yeah, yeah. They, they was fit, they fit they met, and guess what? So you have to remember too. Hammer was in them clubs too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he, he was doing them same dance steps with, with, with three, five, seven, and, and little Ace. And yeah, yeah. So we had to keep up with them. You know? right, right. Yeah, we had Sweet OD on there. Same. Yeah. It was. Yep. It was. It was this, um guy named I can't think of his name right now. Oh my god! But he was a notorious drug dealer and a music manager. Dang. He wanted to bet. <laughs> He was friends with Hammer and he was friends with me. Who, oh, Lil D? No, no, it wasn't Lil D. Okay. I, I know Lil D. Okay. I know him too. Um, something, AP. AP was okay. his name. Anthony Perry. Wait, wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Yeah, he's old school, big time, man. Mm -hmm. Anthony Perry wanted to bet who oh, dance okay. best out of me and Hammer. Mm -hmm. It never happened, but I would have I I went with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, That's how we met you Shug. Been getting around. Well, Shug was still a nice teddy bear. That's how we met. He used to always say he wanted us to battle Hammer, but we had already beat Hammer like before. Yeah, yeah, that was done deal already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when he was at the teddy bear stage. Hammer, yeah. Hammer, 
Hammer Hammer is an excellent dancer too. Like can't take nothing from him. But no, Hammer dance the Hammer dance hard. I dance smooth, so we wouldn't have clashed. It would just been two different styles going at it. So mm -hmm. I, I, we I, had we had a real good run in with them. It was fun. <laughs> You know what? I actually thought Ace. I actually thought Ace could dance a little better than Hammer to me. I used to Ace, Ace my boy. That, yeah, Ace is cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, in Oak Town, like, what was like more like, at that time, like our heyday? Like, what was more popping, the battle dance or the party dance? Yeah. Oak Town. Oh. Um, the party dancing because you still had you still had slow songs going on, so you want to dance with the girl. And get that That's slow, right. so it ain't no more slow dancing no more. Ain't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No more. It ain't no more slow. I'm, I'm gonna write a song just to get some slow dancing back. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that in the clubs no more. Man, the DJ no won't even. Dance. Yeah, the DJ won't even play a slow dance cut. He's the one that's supposed to do that. Hey man, that's the time you meet the girl. That's that's what. That's yeah, what yeah, that was that was the breakdown time. <laughs> yeah. That was the time you walk around the room, you that's looking right. around like who's who's the victim today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, here we go. Fellowship, right? I finally can get close to her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Just doesn't happen. I don't know, like, especially now, but even before COVID, for me, uh -uh, we're not, I don't know. The whole um, dance, I can't, we're not doing you're, it. You're not, you're, not, you're not even with your husband? Oh, with him all day, but I'm just saying, okay, like, yeah. and just, no, it just doesn't happen now. Like, I just, it's, it's totally different. Just totally. Well, different. the kids at least need it. They they need to know that that was a real fun part of when we were young. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. When we heard when the slow dance come on, everybody start looking around like. No, even at house parties, even little kids stop <laughs> <house parties, laughs> and be like, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, here we go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the top of your moment right there. That was the top of the moment. I was telling somebody about that the other day. I was like, they don't play slow songs no more. Why won't the DJ do that? They need it just so people can slow down for a minute and, you know, dry up or whatever. The, you know, that's a dry up time. I'm about, I'm about to bring it back, man. I'm about to bring okay. it back. Let's, put out, let's put it out there then. Let's go all the way back. And each one of y'all tell me your, either your first, you first slow dance with somebody at a house party or your favorite moment. Mine, I think. Here we go, Legend. Was it Love on a Two Way Street or it was Switch? It was one switch. I call your name, girl. I think it was Switch. Yeah, I call your name. Or, or no, Always and Forever. Always and Forever. I was going to say Always and Forever. Always and oh Forever. That used to be a cut, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we yeah. some old motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, my mom will put that on. I'm like, either she's about to have company or she's reminiscing or she's cleaning. Something's going on. But yeah, that song was on rotate for real. When you knew that shit was coming on, forget yeah. about it. That's dope. Or, or, or GQ. Um, what's GQ slow song? Um, um, it's coming. <laughs> GQ man, you know the one. They had a slow song just as big. Um, Disco Nights, and they had a slow. Okay, I remember Disco Nights. I love you, right? I love you. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was that was the joint. Yep. Yeah. Boy, hey. Those are throwbacks, boy. That was a throwbacks. For those are throwbacks. Ayla J. Cameo Sparkle. Yep. I like all the, all, the, all, the, all the Prince joints. Oh, all his slow joints. World. Right, Ready for the World. That was like... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you get Ready for the World. Yes. That was the it. Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the joint. <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> yeah. your word. So, so what can we look for with you like what what do you what, what's going on now like going forward what do you have your hands in now because you seem like you're doing so much you know i am a ceo of a record company called ambitious records okay i have a solo project with uh friends that i did it's like a a, a compilation i got 
different of my friends. Uh, they solo on and singing. I'm featured on them. It's called Park Avenue Soul Palation. I have uh, three T.O.B. Tony 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 original band. Uh, Carl Wheeler, Antron Hill, Jubal, and the lead singer who filled in for Raphael, A. Mark Khalil. Okay. Then I have Berger Relaford, who's a uh, great solo. If you do gospel quartet, but you also do R and B. Uh, we got a Christmas song coming out there. I'm gonna sing y'all. Okay. We, we remade uh, this Christmas. Um, Whoa! I'm gonna film another documentary. Uh, I'm doing my clothing line. I'm gonna have my meet for that right now in Chicago. Um, I designed my own sunglasses, EB3. Okay. So, I like those too. Those thank you. So. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to get my ditty on. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You doing it. Wrong with that. For real, you doing yeah, it. Yeah, diddy. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's right. Avenue, That's man. right. I really uh, like the female singer you have. Let's get into the uh, Park Avenue uh, Soul Palace. I really like that female singer. Okay. And I like Which the one? I got a couple of them on there. You talking about uh, uh, on the song Ride That's Silky. And like I, I like her. That's the one I like. And the song "Complicated." That's Dee Dee, and that's Silky rapping on that song because Silky can rap and right. sing. She like a Lauren Hill. Okay. And I like the song with uh, I like the song with Forty Water and uh, Too Short. Yeah, OG Kush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I like uh, I like that you like like uh, lead bass and the, and no and the song move the song. Yeah. So I'm going to go to this question. You playing both sides. Do you get more of a thrill when you touch people with your dance, or do you get more of a thrill when you touch us, our soul with that cold baseline you come up with? Dance. Wow. Wow. You know, because it's more than one reason, because I never really got to stretch out while I was playing, because Raphael gave me limitations, because he a bass player. So when I play bass with Tony's, it's a lot more I could do. He just didn't allow it, mm -hmm. and he didn't allow me to play on the record. So I just he never had no desire to even get better because I, I could play anything I want to play. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing I can't play, but I lost the desire to learn because if I got more information, I couldn't play it. So, but when I dance, I had all the freedom. So mm -hmm. I choose dancing. Whoa, that that's deep. So, hey, so I, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Ledge. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Much is a later question. So go ahead. I mean, it just brings me to that question. Like, if there's anything that you can tell your younger self, what would you tell your younger self? What kind of advice would you give your younger self before? Well, for, well, for, for as education, I would I would have took um, reading in. Um, uh, English defining words a lot more serious so I can read all kinds sure. of what the words mean. Yeah. And, um, be more vigilant and be ask more questions. That's right. Um, that's about that. Everything else in my, my childhood, yeah, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I feel you. The bad and the good. So. I feel you. I feel you. You know, it's crazy because I'm also an artist. And so I've heard so many different stories and I've gone through things and it's important that people do get that type of education when they are getting ready to sign some contracts or do something with a group or as a solo artist, it's very important that you read those fine lines. It's very, yeah. very important because you can get caught up in some things. Yeah, when you did it with family and friends and see, I'm a, I'm a character person, like I could trust me. So, mm -hmm. but you can't trust no one to be like you. Right. That's the problem I have. I believe that somebody going to care to be fair like I would do. And mm -hmm. me trusting that what got me in the position I was in as far as getting screwed out that um, mm -hmm. my money. Okay. Right. Right, right. So, yeah, I got to address the elephant in the room then, right? Because it's like you, you always see artists... Be like, you know, the record label robbed me for millions and millions, but they never had a number on it. Right. This is what got me and Al for the most in the documentary. You guys actually had a check with a number on it that you found out about later. Later. Six million beans. Like, well, me, how is that? Like, you know, um, like, that. Well, that, that's what caused me to open an investigation because 
Mm -hmm. I know it's a lot of money, but I don't believe that they got that particularly at that one time, mm -hmm. but I believe it accumulated because Tony Tony sold like 8 million records total. Mm -hmm. And okay. we're part of the publishing that you get money from publishing advances. Mm -hmm. You get uh, money uh, recording advances before you rec uh, do a record deal. Mm -hmm. You get um, uh, mechanical royalties from record sales. Mm -hmm. You get publishing BMI checks. You get like four different payments. So these are millions of records sold. So money is coming. And I didn't get none of that. Mm. So it has accumulated to six million dollars and more. I don't believe that he was accurate when he said six million dollars or one okay. check, but as it accumulated, right? I was there around the fourth record when uh, they decided to give me like 75,000. They got three million for a house of music, and they gave Ray, Tim, and Dwayne a half million advance for their pockets up front. Wow. And the other half when the record is done. So that was three million just for that one record. So it wasn't far fetched. Them numbers was round. Like that's the last time. Wow. And you got you and Raphael are first cousins. Yes. So how does that make holiday dinners and shit? Like it's like is it there cool? isn't it? There isn't it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. And, 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 hey, listen, because all I ever wanted was an apology. And um and, and let's talk about fair compensation because I, I explained this to him eight years. I said, y'all ate already, okay? We 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 can live with that. But right now, we all at, at 50 years old. Like, for the next 10 years, this just for all the marbles. Let's put a plan mm -hmm. together because there's plenty of equity in Tony, Tony, Tony. Let's split uh -huh. the money equally and dedicate six months out of the year to Tony, 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 a record and six months worth of tour, six months of our own personal endeavors for the next five years. And we straight. So, Raphael said, yeah, I'm going to do it. Then I want to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it. Dwayne said, yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it. But by this time, we're getting older. We got kids. So, right. like, when's somebody going to do something? So, anybody does, I said, okay. The number one question everybody asks, why Tony, Tony, Tony broke up? Raphael couldn't tell him, and Dwayne couldn't tell him, because they're going to step on each other toes. They right. brothers, and they did something to each other, money-wise, that caused them to fall out. Mm. But I can mm. tell the story. Mm -hmm. But I did that to bring attention to me and what we're doing now, so mm. I didn't have to start over as a new artist. I can still get the contribution for, okay, it's part of 2020. Let me at least listen to them, and mm. that can help my new situation. Absolutely. But, so in the midst of me doing that, I found out about the $6 million. dollars. So mm. that made me go to the record company and request mm. the uh, contracts. Right. And when I got the contracts, because I'd never seen the contracts, all six of us equal members on a contract, recording and a publishing deal. So <laughs> man, I was I was pretty broken. I, I talked to Raphael after that. He said, "Man, if um I want you to have your money, um, and I ain't gonna challenge you, but as soon as I fall, file a lawsuit, he he got an attorney, so he fired me, but." It's not looking good. It's not looking wow. good. Like I have all the evidence. So we just we just um in the beginning stages and, and I, it's still sad, it's embarrassing that we had to go through. Yeah, why would it have to come to that? Uh, Y'all know like, each other so long. No, we like real blood cousins, like his mother. That's, she, brother, that's what I'm saying. Like he like my brother. Oh really god. Like, right, that's I'm, your first cousin. Yeah, I'm I'm treating it as business. They treat a the person, but they still a little arrogant, like. Y'all need to apologize and compensate, but y'all rather fight and fight on some money that you know that's rightfully ours mm -hmm. instead of making a deal. So if they want to go all out with it, so we, I'm, I'm, I'm getting what I deserve. I put my hard life into that, my hard everything, and I want something out of it. Right, right. Absolutely. You deserve it. As you should. Raphael started off with your father, right? Huh? Didn't Raphael play with your father? No, no. Raphael... When we was kids, we had a gospel group. Raphael seen us singing and joined that gospel group. Then he, he went to other groups. But what wow. we did do, him and I and my other brother, Kenyon, we produced my father's gospel quartet record like oh, okay. 2016. We finally did some of my dad, so we okay. did that together. Okay. And he featured my father on his last album, um, Jimmy Lee. My father's song on uh, My Body Belongs to God. So he featured my dad. Okay. Why he didn't no. a lawsuit with me? Then, and he wrote a song about me, uh, number four. <laughs> this world is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I really, really hope that you guys can get that together because you know, family at the yeah. end, of the day, you know, although you know, money's the root of all evil, right? They do say that, yeah. but I just hope that you guys can get that together. Yeah, um, it's, not, it's not really that serious. I, I, I go to sleep, and I, I mean, I, right. I don't even, I don't really bank on whether I'm right, gonna right. it's just the principle. I'm just gonna go all out with it, but I don't know how they sleeping because I ain't do that one on. I just want okay. money. And that's the vibe I saw in the documentary, too. Like, you know, you cool with it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a really a player way we could do this, man. I mean, it come is. on, man. Oakland, you know? Like, we could be, we could be, we could be men. We could be men yeah. and talk about it and, and handle it like that. But y'all choose to be arrogant, choose to be in denial, feel like we wow. better, feel like you better than us. So we're going to see if you're better than us. We're going to see what the judge say. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> Right. You gotta do it sometimes. That's, that's yeah. what they do. They ask for it. There you go. There you go. Hey, Eli, could have been, been handled different. What's up with it? your little cousins? Like, I, I met, um, I think they Dwayne's kids. They all had big afros. Yeah, like, yeah that's that, 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 that Dylan them. Dylan uh, the Dwayne's son. Dylan is okay, they were hard as a motherfucker. What's up with them? Man, they went from uh, R&B to rock and roll. They like, they some other rock and roll cats now. What? That's dope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They were yeah, they were at a uh, grown man's club and playing. You know what I'm oh, saying? No, they, 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 they very serious. Dwayne is probably the only uh -huh. group got the kids that follow the pussy. All the rest of our kids love music, but they don't play it. Like my daughter, one of my twins, I taught all my kids how to play someone a good time, but then none of them took it seriously though. But mm -hmm. Dwayne kids, <laughs> they, they they chip off the old block. Yeah, as soon as I saw them, I was like, wow, they was cool. They was like, what's up, man? And they were getting to play. And I was like, wait a minute, these little kids is in here with some grown-ass people and shit. They were like, probably like maybe 11, 12 at the time. Oh, no, they was, that's how we was. We was five, six, seven, when we were growing up. Right, right, yeah. right. Wow, no, no. Yeah. Sorry to Jackson's. Oh, <laughs> it, it, it was um, instilled in our genetics, you know what I'm saying? It was a gift, so. That's right. We came out the womb playing. <laughs> I always say yep. it's important to nurture those gifts when it comes to the kids. If you see it in them, you know, keep it around them, surround them with it all because they'll pick up something real quick and they'll just like master that, especially if they're around it all the time and they see someone doing it and doing well. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's why I say I support all my kids' passion. I'm not gonna force my good tired out of neck if they don't want to play it, but I see something special and I encourage them to do what they love. So you okay. gotta have passion what you do to, to want to do it and be successful Absolutely. at it. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Mm, yeah. Saying, no What's problem. the name of your clothing line? Ambitious, ambitious Apparel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm you got a website up? Yeah, it'll be out shortly. Um, my logo is a. Um, let me let me see. If I pull up on my phone. It's a, what it's what a, kind of gear is it based around? What kind of like well, it's, you it's, know? It's, it's, it's sports gear, you know. Sports gear, nice, shirts, nice. Um, sweats, leggings for ladies. I like, ladies. That. I like nice. the eyewear. I want to get that eyewear though. Yeah, yeah. Sure I got I'm definitely gonna be looking into them glasses. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna hook y'all up, man. Y'all gotta go. Yeah, I wear glasses. I wear. I need some some more spectacles. And they they very <laughs> very light, man. That's what you're gonna get the kick out of them all. Okay. That's the thing. That's yeah, dope. So, you know, you can put the diamonds right here if you want to. I got both okay. both kind. You wanna cardiac that thing up? Or... Okay. But um yeah, I'm, right. I'm just working on that man, and um I'm just trying to leave something for my kids. That's it. So that's right. That's right. Legacy, right. as you should. That's, that's it. That's all. That's all I'm concerned about. I live my life already. This is all for them. So yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's how it's supposed to be. You feel better when you're yeah. doing it that way too. When it's for the kids. Yep. Right. Exactly. Okay. I wish we would have got some of that. We could have put that up. Yeah, well, I'm out here checking yeah, the quality of the don't. church right now, so to right. um, get everything, you know. All right, I see you. Yeah. Okay. Yep. A little tie dye, you know. I like that. That's dope. Mm. I'm checking everything. Hey, take me back to the base real quick. So you know, I love reading old books, and what I really love reading, like I said, when I met your uh, your cousin. It was one of them situations that shit I used to read about when, you know, cats walk into a club and just start playing. 
So to actually see it with my own eyes. So tell me how that is. Like, do you like just walk in and be like, yo, I want to get in? Or do you come in with your pace? Like those little jam sessions that y'all have as band players. Like, how's that should be working? What's about back then or now? Back then, or I said some people still do it now. Like, well, I mean, if, if pretty much all your musicians are peers and friends, so you're going to support them. If you're in the house, right. they're going to they want you to jam. And so yeah. it's, it's, it's a natural. Yeah, I man, you have to come jam. And yeah. my brother be playing in San Francisco at a place called Blondie, so we go see him. And sometimes we uh, just take over the show and just. That's dope. Man. Give him some rest. Yeah, for that's free. Yeah. That's dope. Wow. Have you been out here to Atlanta and played any of the sets out here? Not yet. I'm looking forward to it when all this madness hey, come over. I'm coming to the AT. I love AT. You better let us know when you do, because I'm out oh, here. I definitely will. Yes, yes. That's what I need to come jam in Lemert, too. They always yeah. got bands up there now. At Lemert Park. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah, been jamming up there. I, I, Woo! I, 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 I haven't done this since um, 1989. Woo! That's my introduction to Atlanta at Lamar Park. We performed there, the Tonys. Where does oh, that okay. place, uh, uh, Frankie Beverly, perform at every year? Where in Atlanta? Uh, or uh, Atlanta, where they eat food uh, outside. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you talking about the Lakewood Amphitheater? Yes. Either there or there's a new spot that's a little bit further south. I forget the Camp Creek Amphitheater or something no, like no, no, that. No, no, no. This, this, this is the amphitheater. This is this is something. Oh wait, 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 wait! I think this is um. Oh my God, how am I? It's, it's up in Sandy Springs. It's, it's in Sandy Springs. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I'm here forever too. No, I know what you're talking about. Hold on. He always plays out here in Los Angeles. He plays at the uh, UCLA uh, Jazz Festival. No, I'm talking. About, I'm talking about Atlanta. It's outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's outside. The one we do out uh, here is outside. Chastain Park. Chastain Park. Yeah, that definitely. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we played there too. I played there with Lucy Pearl. Okay, okay. Oh shoot, Lucy Pearl. Lucy Pearl's fire. Oh, uh, Lucy mm -hmm. Pearl's very close to being a superstar group. I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened, but you know. No, yeah, I like groups like that. <laughs> <laughs> there was a dope group. That was yeah, a dope like group. That was a nice spinoff from what you guys were doing. So that's yeah, man. Was, yeah. uh, Cake Rock and Elsa. Did you got the group? <laughs> well, what happened was, when Raphael found out that Wayne and Tim was stealing his money, uh, they looked for a replacement because he was mad about that. He, he didn't really want to be in there no more. But yeah, they was they asked Stokely to be in a group. Okay. Oh, yeah, they tried Stokely. to get Stokely to replace Raphael, but it never happened. Ah, uh, I get it. Damn, that's heavy. That's fire. That is heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's true Hell. story. <laughs> did you ever have any when you was on tour did you ever have any battles with any other dancers no we just I, the stage. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you who, who's I mean, who's oh, I go with all the time uh, Damien Hall from God me and him is the battle oh ah, that's my boy that. <laughs> I can see that. I can honestly see that. Wow. Yeah, we need to bring oh, yeah. Damien on here too after this because that you know y'all go hand in hand right there y'all yeah. too <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. I love him too. Oh my God! But I can see that's that. my boy. Yes, <laughs> so energetic, <laughs> great person. Yeah, that's my boy. He's cool as fuck. Yeah, me and old mm -hmm. D Hall, man. Yeah, uh, he used to be at all the clubs out here with his dancers in circles. He come out and do his little moves all the time. Yeah, that's like, come on, D, get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the movie God. starts high with it. He always starts here with it. Oh man, yeah, guy, guy, Tony, Tony used to go there at, at every night, boy. That was that was probably the best tour ever. We we gave each other the business every night. Oh man, who, who was the lineup? Who was the lineup? Well, it was today who was opening up, uh -huh. and then it was us, and then it was guy. Mm -hmm. So oh. it was like three. It was just a three piece. We took it down. Oh, one, time it was, one, time, one time it was us, guy, NWA, Hammer, yeah. and today. And kid play and cool mo D. You know, back then he had all kind of different yeah. Lineups, but but for the major tour, we was going for the kill. It was just today's opening up. Tony, 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 and God co-headlining. Oh boy, that was that was a fire tour right there. Well, I would have loved to have seen that. Oh my gosh, that would have had me on my feet. 
I when remember Bobby that. Came, when Bobby Brown came out with Don't Be Cruel, we opened for him at uh, Anaheim at Circle Start uh, like Theater. He uh, unplugged us before we got to Lil Walter because we was giving him some. We was giving him <laughs> 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 he, he unplugged us before we got to uh, Lil Walter, man. What? Can I ask a question? What inspired the song Little Walter? Oh uh, man, I, you know, it was a crack era then. You know what I'm saying? So uh of course Wade in the Water was the melody. Um Right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wade in the Water, but it was just catchy, man, and, and they did it and it just became a hit. But uh feels good. The second album was bigger. That's when we really got on. Like, Halo Walter was still like an urban successful mm -hmm. record, but yeah, it was. Feels good, feels good. Southern California, whatever you want. That made that took us to the pop side. To the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. That's dope. I used to like Halo Walter, though. That was dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was a hit, you know. And that's it, it was catchy. Of course, it had, like you said, it had, like you said, it had the gospel too. in it. You know, when we did Born Out to Know after that song, I, I thought our career was over. I, I hated Born Out to Know. <laughs> he said, I thought our career was over. <laughs> that is hilarious. But people loved it. We, we, we did it to Apollo, and it was like, ah! We did uh, it. Yeah, see? You never yeah. know. The one With, that what people expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that people be chipping off of, you when end up. At the Apollo, I was like, we dead. Like, he like, ah, he said we did. Because <laughs> I thought it was just a little bit too funky. It, it wasn't fitting in nothing that was going out at the time. Born not to know did not fit in a slot of nothing. Because God was a groovy. Uh, right, right. Was our, I mean, uh, I'll be sure it was not. Born not to know didn't fit. But it, we made it. Because <laughs> the choreography in New York, once Apollo laced it, it was a rap. Right, right. Wow. Did you guys run? Did you uh, rub the woods uh, stump before you went out? Yeah, just, to, just for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You cannot go there and not do that. You, you have the best, to do it. The best part of Apollo's eating is Sylvia's across the street. Really? Ooh. I know that's right. For real, that food is off the chain. That's you said that was the best food. part. <laughs> Sylvia's. Yeah, I remember. That's a good place. Yeah. Man. Memories. Well, you got me going down memory lane thinking about everything. Man. What was your best show out here in Los Angeles? Where'd you guys? The Palladium. The, the Palladium. The, oh. Palladium, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Palladium would be the place to be. That was the place to be. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever do the Greek in all those places? Oh, yeah. The we, Greek did, Greek did, too. we did all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, the yeah. Palladium was our crowd. They came to see Tony, Tony, Tony. It was, not, it was all us and Palladium crowd. He was the best. Did you guys do Universal? Where it's up in Universal Studios? Of course, yeah. We did that. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Used to be. <laughs> they just had some dope concerts there. I mean, we, yeah. we, we rocked LA. LA was it was it was easy lick. It was like a second home at that time. So mm -hmm. it, it was cool. But that Palladium, because man, you know LA had all the girls. LA had all the girls. <laughs> and we had we, was young, we had all the energy. We had the time. LA, yeah, that was yeah. Cool. They love, they love some Tony, Tony, Tony in Los Angeles. Oh yes, they did. Oh yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes. <laughs> you guys had a good time out here. I loved it. That's dope. Hey, Cuddy, I, I, I don't don't even get in no more in LA. I don't even go to LA hard right no more. I, I'm so old for LA. LA, I, it's like what I'm going for. I'm, I'm not going out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to the club. If I ain't out there no business, I don't even go to LA. Mm. We don't even got clubs no more. That COVID killed everything. I wouldn't go <laughs> at the age of 52, but all my friends said, going, I was like, what y'all doing? Like, you 52? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> Nothing. The only reason I go is to dance. Man, I just want to eat and listen to some low music, you know? Okay. Don't, don't, don't take me nowhere with no sparkling bottles at. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to those. Nah, I ain't going. Hey, oh, hey water, you know, in play, turn up club. Whoever I met, whether it was man, woman, child, elder, or youth, how come everybody in Oakland got say they got a little player in them? Like, why is like is that part of the whole culture out there? 
it's, like, it's, 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 it's the culture out there because you know, <laughs> Oakland is the War Brothers. You know, the Mac was made. In yeah. Oakland. So uh-huh. dudes were so hard on the women. To the women got uh, you tired of that shit and, and switched around and just got as hard as a dude. So everybody just you know you mess with the Oakland girl, you better watch out, man. Uh-huh. She ready. Hey, see, that's why I be so hard on poetry, V, because she don't be showing no sign of the Oakland. And I get upset. I'll be like, where's the fire oh, in you, shit. girl? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm on her so tough. Yeah. I'm like, show the Oakland side, baby. Yeah. That's you know beautiful. How, you know, poetry so, uh, side. So, how Good like, uh, I know you keep your ear to the streets. How's like, uh, like dance movements evolve, like the high feet movement and all that shit. Like, how you feel about all those movements that start from there? You know, that's your hometown. I mean, whatever kicked the kids dancing out of trouble. I'm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm good with it. Like, I just like to see them having fun, like we had fun. Right, right, uh, right. That, that that's exciting to me. I, I like to see them just just dance, have a good time. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I support it 100. Mm-hmm. percent mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm not gonna try to do it though. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't trying. Nah, it's too too much for me. I, I'll mock it every now and then, play with my kids, but nah, it wasn't nothing I really do. Did you ever get into popping? Of course. Well, I was told that a lot of it came from um the Boogaloo. What was that? Yeah, Boogaloo. Came that's, from that's, that's where it all started from. Was Boogaloo. Yeah, yeah, from and, and it's, it's yeah, from Oakland. All that. Yeah. I didn't, I, didn't, mm-hmm. I didn't like uh, breaking. I never got into breaking. I wasn't rolling on nobody. Never got into yeah, breaking. Yeah. Well, popping, popping was the cool <laughs> dance anyway. Yeah, I, I, I could, I could do that. Standing up and popping and gliding, yeah, moonwalking. I'm with all that, but I ain't. Like yeah, that. yeah. But when, okay, when you get hitting the floor, you was like, I ain't trying to mess my clothes up. That's yeah, right. I'm, 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 I'm particular with that. I, I wasn't okay. trying to get <laughs> Speaking of that, I know you. <laughs> Jerry, and tell my boy right here, because like I said, after man, the way we demolish him, this dude, no bones, right? We right. heard he was a phenomenal popper, right? Right. He came to LA for this gang when James Brown got out of jail. And our third member, he's not here today, but took him out in one round. And we were so disappointed because we heard so many great things about him. So right. was he really a big popper back then? Because he really disappointed me in the Hammer days. Man, I didn't. To be honest, his name don't even ring a bell to me, so I don't. Oh. That's the dude that had a Christmas tree on his head when Hammer went. Oh, with the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no bones. At that time, he had too many people on the stage, bro. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't keep up. With couldn't all keep that. up. He, he didn't. He didn't stick out one bit. It wasn't four oh. of them no more. It was like twenty. Yeah, it was like forty of them. It was like forty. Yeah, of them. <laughs> he said like forty of them. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't stick out no longer. I mean, he didn't stand out. So right, right. That's funny. Just you know, yeah. I only thing they should be up there. His hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way we saw it. That's what I'm saying. See, that's why I know I see with a, with a real one. Hey, tell me, that's uh, right. so Damian Lillier come at where you're from? He, he's from Brookfield. Okay, he's from that small community. I was telling you, his his mom yeah. and his grandmother they from Brookfield. He busted Brookfield right now. The dance. That's dope. Watch his first yeah. video. It's called um, Andre Dre Grant. Dre mm-hmm. Grant just passed away. He's an old school dude. Do, do, do the Brookfield dance good. So mm-hmm. go to YouTube and watch Damon Little uh, Dre Grant video, and you see they gonna start off with the Brookfield. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. What movie is the Brookfield? I got it. I get go to oh, yeah, it. Somebody, oh, that Somebody. Is cold. that is cold. Go, go, go to YouTube and go see Dre Grant. And they got some people even doing a Brookfield dance a tutorial. Dre uh, Grant, yeah, DR, DR, yeah. Grant. Damn, okay, Grant. I'm gonna check it out. It's a song, and they, they just start off. It's just, you'll see if it's a smooth, just, you know. You gotta make this face expression with it when you do it. You gotta pop your collar. Oh, it, it's one of those. <laughs> you gotta do the facial expression with it. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make that face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta you pop it too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Sound familiar. 
you, you got you got to grab the collar. You got you got to grab yeah. it right here. Yeah, yeah, like that's, that. that's a part. You got to pop the collar. Yeah, you got to hold it, man. While you do it, you got to hold it, not pop it. This hand, hold it while you while you doing it. You get that face. Yeah. Uh, mm, <laughs> the nasty face. That's nasty. That's a nasty face. You can't do a smile. Yeah, <laughs> mm. yeah you got that face right there. <laughs> he said that face right there. Right there, man. I love me some Oakland. I love me some Richmond. All that. Oh yeah, yeah. I miss Oakland. I used to, we used to go up there all the time. All the time, bro. Yeah, man, you go up there. Me, I, I really appreciate getting on the show. I don't know where you found me, but I appreciate the Hey man, I told you, man. Day one, man. When you was doing the James with the creepers on, bro. I do right then and there. <laughs> You was a real one. Yeah, I appreciate Why that. Why you to change with the uh, Doc Martens on? You know, that, ain't, that ain't easy, V. Yeah, them, them no, shoes, it's not. Them shoes heavy, man. Out the James, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. I was just talking to um my boy. You know, I was talking to Frankie D <laughs> about shoes. Right. You know how much shoes um for dancers, what kind of shoes we were um we used to rock in. So I was like, you know, I always said I love boots. What do you, what's, what's everybody else's? Sneakers. I like, I, I, like, I, like, I like shoes and with, with something. Sneaky. What kind of sneakers? Like I, it, wasn't, it wasn't even sneakers. I didn't like dancing in sneakers. I like dancing in hard bottoms. Yeah, I, mean, I like I like boots. I like hard bottoms and light shoes like ballet. Light shoes, yeah. Now I can do I can do some boots, but the boots have to be broken in because I move I move around. So my ankles, I don't need my ankles to be broke. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that was my problem. I hurt my ankles too many times when I was young. <laughs> Yeah. But I will tell you, that, I will tell you that those Doc Martens, like the very first time that I got my, Ooh, I love my, Docs. I was like, I honestly don't understand. My ankles are scuffed up right now. The back of my foot is jacked up. I got blisters. How are they kicking? How are they doing all of that? But I guess it was like after trying to do dancing in them. But they also dance in those high tech. High tech boots is something that some people dancing in them joints is heavy. So for me, sneakers is always best. With the high techs? Ooh. Huh? What'd you say? You v? said high tech the um the boots. You said high tech boots. High tech boots, yeah. I would see people dancing in them joints and I'm like, how? How does that happen? So yeah, think right Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, but you know what, EJ, thank you so much. You know, I heard you were giving thanks. Thank you for taking your time and sharing your story. Yeah, thank you. So oh, no now, you know, thank you. So the Park yeah, Avenue Outlet, yeah, Park Park Avenue Outlet, um, all uh, digital outlets, three TLB. We have a few singles out. Never gonna give you up in trading places, and more to come. And I I keep you posted, but those available right now. Okay, okay, okay. Before we leave you, man, we got these hardcore seven questions we gotta ask you. We're going to go deep on you, Elijah, so you got to be prepared. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Your favorite cousin, Raphael or Dwayne? <laughs> Raphael, hands down. <laughs> By the way, I think I could be a cooler cousin. I can think I could be a cooler cousin for you, Elijah. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cooler Probably cousin. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you beat them already. Well, we, well, I, well, we go to uh, question two, though, I do got to give him his props. One night, uh, I was working on this um, Casey JoJo show. We was at the party, and Raphael was there because I'm cool with uh, with um, what's my man, Raphael? Not my man. What's my man from uh, Tribe Called Quest? Ali Shahid. We cool, yeah. right? Ali Shahid. Yeah. yeah. yeah so we just kind of met, but we ain't that like, kicked it, kicked it, right? But we was both gunning for Tatiana Ali and Brody. Uh -huh. He had the Oakland on. He was not playing. Like, he wasn't no cock blocking or nothing. I mean, he was like, to the ear shot, he was putting it to the eye to eye. Man, he was put that motherfucker down. So right. I was like, damn. So if he ever leave the room or something, I'm getting at her. But he never let her out his sight. But he was gunning all night long, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give his props on that. Yeah. He, had he kept him, it man. up. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was gunning. 
I was waiting for him. She she was was bad back then, boy. Woo, Brody. Brody. (laughs) So, yeah, yeah. Okay, second question. Coldest on the base that influenced you. Bootsy Space Bass or Larry Graham Slap Bass? Larry Graham. What? Mm, He liked that slap. Oh, yeah, Larry Graham. We all. See, Bootsy was. We like we like we like we like um James Brown Boosie. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. The, the effects Boosie. Okay. Because it, it, it was all about skill then. You know what I'm saying? Well, licks. When you got the effects, you ain't really doing nothing. Because the effects are doing everything. Nah, we want the licks then. That's right. Yeah. No for no. All right. Said no for no. Who had the coldest verse on 420 Kush? Too short or 40 water? 40. Mm. 40 came mm. that thing blazing. Yeah, 40 okay. hands down. 70 mm. Oakland Raider, Jack Tatum. 70 Oakland A's, Reggie Jackson. Jack Tatum. That's right. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Cold is slow jam. Anniversary or it never rains? Hmm. Anniversary is a bigger anniversary. What hurts more, a toothache or the first time you got your heart broke by a honey dip? Toothache. Ooh, you ain't lying. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. Last one. The dopest dance. The Dougie or the Brookfield? Brookfield, hands down. Hey. Uh, Brookfield, versus Brookfield versus everything. Hey. Yo, do the Brookfield, do the Brookfield for me. Do the Brookfield. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, I, I need the music, but I, I try to do a little stuff for y'all now, though. It just. Hey, 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 there hey, you go. Hey. Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> he hit the hands. We are so honored. I don't know. I got my call. I'm going to take my meeting. But thank cool. y'all for everything. Thank you. We contact. I come in and I see y'all some referrals to some other dancers, too. Hey. You know. Thank you again. Yeah. Keep it thank going. Baker up in the spot. Yes. Thank y'all very much. My thank man, you, Elijah. Up. All right. Peace. 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 All right. Yeah. Ah oh, man, that was very, very cool. Yeah, 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 man. Like I said, I always like to try something, you know, out the box. Like I said, to work on our skills, take something, you know, make us go do research. Right, we right. Like to, you know, get better at what we're doing. You did? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah man. man. We had we had our faithful crew up in the spot with us. We had Mujahid. We had Charlie up in here. My sister was up in here, Kyoka. Lance up in the spot, man. Yeah, everybody was there. Yo, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, no, Brown was in the house. You know oh, it. That's right, my girl Carolyn. She was up in the spot. <laughs> thank you for coming. You gonna let you? Okay, born was born. Born alive was there. Born. Yeah. Born Charlie B. Jeez. Son of Dida was in the house. Yes. Go Dida. Go Dida. Yes. Oh, DJ Sab Faithful. <laughs> Jay Sab up in the spot. That's Cuzzo right there. You come out yeah. every week. Thank you, Jay, for real. He was in uh, the house. Well, Nick P. Red Raven. I see Nick P in there. Graham was in the house. Yeah, Asiatic Supreme. What's up, Graham? Graham is. <laughs> Charlie Brown is in the house. Did Charlie the Brown, court. what's up? What's up? What's Sean Nice at? He ain't up there today. Yeah. So now it's on us to make that portrait move. Next step. Let's go. My guy, Lance Romance, was in the crib. Yeah. yeah. 
Cuddy Mac TV is next level. For real. So, okay, so that just brings me to this. Being that, being that we got everybody up in the spot, we got everyone's attention. So, check it. So, we're taking things to a whole nother level. So, November 22nd, let's talk about it real quick. Definitely. My birthday. We're going to have a big birthday. Yeah, like, some sort of celebration. But I'd love for all of you guys to come back and join us with whatever it is that we're going to be doing. All jokes aside, you know, birthdays are um, our blessings, especially 2020. Boy, we got a lot to be grateful for. So right. I definitely would like to celebrate my birthday with all of you guys. So November 22nd, make sure y'all are in the house. Yeah, That's right. Hey, definitely. Yeah, um, Yo, folks, did you get my text about um who I was having for a kill? Oh, I did. I did get that. That'd be what's you that. Think, you seen how I was going to bring extra? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I we'll did. save that for me. I we'll did. We'll save that. No, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Well, yeah, November 22nd. Who we got next week, Ledge? Uh, uh, Sean, the great Sean from Sean and Kenny. Cool hey. rap. Woo. Let's get it. Uh, Eddie Kane now that Scrap be missing. Okay. Oh, you, you bring a Scrap next week? No, no, no. Sean has been taking Scrap's place. When he, oh, he's been uh, taking Scrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we're going to bring him on. Right. This is Froze B Day. And then we're going to decide if that's going to be the finale or it brings Salima on for the finale. Yeah, we got to bring a whole bunch of people on uh, on Fro's birthday. It's going to be a party. Let's do it. I'm all there. <laughs> we're going to have to bring some extras. It's still in with Salima shot. Yes. We, we need a DJ there that day. Yo, let's start getting everything. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Playing in the background the whole time. Yep, yep, yep. Not being a hater, man. I just want to give a shout out to um, the story, the show that inspired me once at uh, all the time, Drink Champs. Okay. And, uh, and Jay Prince for just really inspiring, you know, me his story and like seeing where he's at, where he's finally relaxed because he's always, you know, the mysterious, you know, getting around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. With everybody Bad boys yeah. moving silence. Yeah, to see him relax now and take a drink and just tell his story. I want to see everybody else win. I guess like I see like out of all those years, like now he arrived. Like it's like right. finally he's like, ah, you know, like wow, to see him in that light now, like yeah. wow. Cause like I say, he's always like I say getting somebody's chain back or some crazy, you know, some gangster shit. Right, so right. Just, Live, like man, that shit like really inspired me, man. So I want to go, yeah, yeah. I go. And like I said, and be open. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like when you saw Drake, he didn't believe in him one bit and tell you in a minute. He'd be like, I right, like, what are you crazy? He was trying to talk his son out of it. Wow. Like, are you sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you <laughs> sure? Yeah, this is it. He said the key word that he raised him on. Was buzz. He's like, Dad, he's buzzing. He said, That's when his antennas went up because he raised him on that word. Right. You ever hear that word? Hit me up immediately. Right. So he said that. So he said, I called Canada. But he said, hey, Canada, he said, Three strikes. He's over. Done. You know, he's singing. He's not a gangster. And he's from Canada. Nah. Right. They called Canada. They was like, Yo, he's official. And the rest is history. Like yeah. I said, that was he could have took that over. He was like, nah, take that, son. That's you. Go get mm. that. I love that shit, man. But he told him how to do it. He, like, he saw his son was mm -hmm. about to go out with Lil Wayne, just be banging chicks on tour. He was like, don't do that, bro. He's like, just don't waste your time. Go tell Lil Wayne you want to start a label. Right, right. And right. And he did it. You know what I'm saying? And, and off to the right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that shit was dope, man. I'm about to see him so relaxed finally. It's amazing, man. Mm. Yeah. So, well, see, I yeah, want to I say for um season three, I know people have been wondering where um 
when season three starts, the first person I got coming is Craig E. from the Soul Brothers. Hey! <laughs> and we bring it to Far Out in. I'm, I think I'm gonna bring all the Soul Brothers. So, okay. You know what okay. I mean? We bring Athelis. We bring in all the OGs to the to the spot. We turn his notifications off too. Pete beeping on me. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nice it's gonna be a nice get down. I can tell, like, if Ed would have stayed in the group, like, you know, like, you and Craig was paired, I know Ed would have been my pair. Like, if all of us would have stayed in the whole group, <laughs> all of, all of from Ed to Thellers, I can kind of tell already. You know, Ed was my, um, that was my, um, that was my solo, like, we did our, our, our dance routine together. I remember, I remember, Ed was cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, me and Ed used to have fun doing that little part. We had a part we did our stuff with our hands together and all this little stuff. Ed was the ladies' man. He still is. <laughs> <laughs> he was the ladies' man. Right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We came out. We used to get the big. That <laughs> go from soul brother to professional gigolo. That's a call. The professional gigolo. Yeah, I gotta bring Ed though. Ed still gotta come back because he needs to tell his little quick story of when he was there. You know what I'm saying? Try to bring it all, in, you know, all in one swoop. You know what I'm saying? As many as we, we gotta bring Ken. Gotta bring Ken. Ken yeah, Evans. Y'all don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, you. <laughs> Is it gonna come on here? Huh? A frozen said, I gotta go, fellas. I gotta go too. Yes, yes. The babies, I gotta get some their food. Yeah. Are you always ready? This is always this. We call you at it's food time when we hit when this is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's dinner time. It's always dinner time. We seem to work it out though. We seem to work yeah. it out. Yo, yo. Good show, y'all. Great show. Absolutely, all the time. For real. I gotta start at 2.15. My bad, y'all. You know what I mean? I would have came on at two. Great day. Turn my W's this way for my Ravens. <laughs> hey. My two peoples up here. Yeah. Little, little point there, both y'all. <laughs> hey, so wait, 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 wait. Before we go back, come on. I was rocking to this earlier, boy. Oh. Hey, 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 all right, I'm going to lower it down, I'm going to lower it down. I don't need them to flag us. You know. <laughs> They're going to flag us. That was it. That that I had to share. You know, if you play from the middle of the song, though, they can't, they won't flag you. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they only, they only get you when you start from the beginning of songs. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, that's how they know. Oh, well, shit, I'm about to OD. Let me go ahead and fast forward to the... Uh, <laughs> 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 The, what you uh, eat? Right here. What you eating today? We we have our meal our bed. You eating some more Puerto Rican food? Puerto Rican food. Let me see. Uh, well, today I'm actually going to be eating some wings. Oh I'm, no, okay. Uh, yeah, just some regular wings. But as far as my Puerto Rican food, that's a regular. That's arroz con yeah, pelos, arroz con gandules. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta take some. Some pollo, you got these different sides. You got your pollo quisado, like you know, Woo. sound like all chicken, mostly chicken, right? Chicken, I throw that beef in there, you know. I, I, yeah, a little, a little carne asada, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. you don't even want to know my answer, and uh, Alpha don't want to hear. <laughs> what? Don't leave it like that. Tommy, what would you get me say? You a legend always got something. <laughs> Wait, no, tell me. Because no, he was, I'm telling you, Ledge be going in sometimes. Man. Yesterday he called me and he we were talking and I this know what I want to eat. So hard, y'all. He laughed so hard on the phone with me yesterday and he I had to tell him, I was like, man, listen, I am feeling some kind of way. And then I was like, either you're laughing with me or you're laughing at laughing me. Laughing at me, which one? Yeah. <laughs> Wrap it up, and I'm like, man. You know, you know, Legend is a premeditated person, so. It's all good, though. It's he, plan he plans the conversation before he calls you. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> it's all good. It is all good. It's all good. 
Carolyn's still here. I love you, Carolyn. Oh, that's right. We love you, Carolyn. Yeah, we love oh, you, Carolyn. Oh, yeah. Not oh, as oh. much as not as much as legend, but <laughs> <laughs> but we love you. <laughs> that's right. That's my girl right there. That's my soul. Yep, yep. No, okay, no. Yeah. So, you know, go love Marilyn needs love. You go love Marilyn. You go love uh, who else we got? Tish. You know, go love them. You know, we let me and Carolyn do our thing. I can't. I can't. Oh, here we go. I forgive him time out again. I'm gonna put him <laughs> on time out. Time out. <laughs> they gonna put you. They gonna, they gonna put you in the doghouse too. You better stop this. Mm -hmm. All right, my favorite dance Villains. Okay, y'all. Uh, a beautiful creator has put me in this position. I must say, I love you guys, and I will see you next Sunday. Next that's right, one? That's right. Next what? Next what? Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Okay, I thought you said Monday. I think you said Monday. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Do we do something different? Yes, so, next uh, Sunday. Love y'all once again. Love you back, guys. And audience, we love you. Thank you. My peace. Salute. Happy Sunday. Yes. Blessings.